Yo, peace, light, blessings, manifestations, and abundance, everyone. What's going on? You're tuning in to Smarter by Nature TV, and you're here with KIP. All right, so today we're going to be doing some siphon. Many of y'all express interest in seeing that process, and we love to share with y'all how we do it. We just started. We've had a scythe for about a year now. We just getting out there. We just got this form. We just, just, just everything, y'all. So we just getting this opportunity to share with y'all. We decided to start it because we love the hand tools movement. Uh, fuel is cool, but it's also cool to use your own body, to use your own breathing, to use your own heart pace and your stamina, your rhythm to get engaged into the cultivation process. So that's why we like hand tools because it creates uh, respect for the earth and for the projects that we're dealing with. So we're gonna get this siphon going. Let me show y'all this tall grass we got. Here it is. This grass is pretty tall. Two feet tall, honestly. Uh, a foot and a half to two feet tall, right up to below my waist. And we're gonna have to scythe that out. So we're gonna show y'all how we get it done. First, we gotta sharpen the blade. And we're gonna pretty much try to go all the way down to the turmeric over there. It might be hard to see, but that's where we're going at. Yeah, so y'all stay tuned. Let's get it going. All right, Angelique, what you got going on right now? So, we just did a good patch of grass. And now this is our second time sharpening our blade. So first I get my whetstone and they have a rough side and a smooth side. So I use the rough side on the back side or the front side, whichever you want to call it and i'll make sure it's lined up and really the most important part that we saw for using a scythe is this first six inches and so i was still chopping the whole blade kind of like a v diagonal they say if you hold the metal with your hand um it kind of muffles the sound so it's like this instead of like that and I would come down evenly I would wet my stone again come back and then I would get the back side and the same thing going at a V diagonal just trying to make sure that both sides are sharpened and since this is like our third time sharpening our blade today, it's pretty sharp. You just have to take occasional breaks. So, awesome. So for people who want to do this, would you say this is hard? It's a workout and it will push you. So a lot of things in life is hard, but it's rewarding. Nice. Cool. All right, y'all. So this is how much we got done so far. You can see those piles of hay over here and over there the last thing is that this is like one of the first times that i'm really getting the having the sharp blade 
and having my technique together. So if you have those two things, it's not as hard, but it takes practice. So That's a word. Yeah. Heard that. Just kidding. All right, y'all. So this is what we doing. Y'all saw what it was when it started. Y'all see how it is now. And we're gonna pretty much continue this down and maybe to where y'all see that white part at. So I'm gonna actually change the camera angle so y'all can see that. All right, y'all, so that's all we got for y'all for now. How's a nice cardio? How you feel, Angelique? I feel great. You alive? I feel accomplished. Nice. We used in that scythe sharp. Using that, using that sharp scythe. That's how you know I'm tired, my words backed up. Yeah. We're using that sharp scythe to get this long care done. And like I said, y'all, y'all seen it how it was before. I think we did a pretty good job. It took us about, what, 30 minutes to get this going, two of us. A nice workout for anybody who likes cardio, anybody who likes pushing themselves, anybody who likes transforming and going to the next level, seeing where your heart could take you. The site is where it's at. If you're into gardening, if you got some property, get yourself a European scythe blade, an Austrian scythe. That's what it's called. Why? Why not an American scythe kit? Reason why is because American scythes, uh, they're made in a way in which they're more heavier and they're less ergonomic in terms of the flow of the body movement. The Austrian scythe is a straight snath or a straight staff uh, which holds the blade. And that snath is a lot lighter it's pretty much easy to do y'all y'all should check it out check out side supply we didn't get sponsored by them we don't get jack free out here y'all we just like the tool and want to share that with y'all so y'all let us know how y'all think we did let us know if you think how you would do yeah thank y'all for encouraging us to continue to make videos and we hope you enjoy this video because we got a great workout and we got something done. So yep. leave a comment below. Let us know if you ever use a scythe blade or 
if you have any pointers yeah let us know in the comments below and as always thank, thank you, you for being smarter, smarter by nature, nature.